Hello everyone and welcome back to Win That War. Now you might notice that there's a lot going on on the screen already. Uh, I have decided to prepare this battle a little bit and uh, turn it into a 3 versus 1 battle. Now it's actually going a little bit better than I was hoping for. But uh, hopefully we can still make it into a bit of a challenge. Uh, so why did I decide to do this? Well, basically it's of course a lot easier. Uh, what I simply did was you can create up to 3 profiles and you can just join the same battle with all these three profiles which I apparently as you can see did here um, I've set up uh, a base over here this is uh, Donderbot who has uh, a couple of uh, factories uh, who are producing mostly tanks some buggies as well uh, I've set up another base over here uh, same thing quite a few uh, factories and uh, yeah, a couple of defenses, and they are also uh, producing a lot of units. Uh, and I'm currently setting up my own base of uh, Donder Gold, of course, which <laughs> is my general account. Um, yeah, and it's going uh, quite fast. I'm trying to speed build a little bit. I have a lot of tasks open for my guys. Uh, we've already expanded just to get some more uh, sharp crystal, which we need for all these, this uh, fast production. Uh, there is an enemy base here. It's uh, pretty well defended. Uh, I don't know if it's their main base or if they have more bases. They don't seem to be producing too many units, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, we'll see how much of a challenge it becomes. Uh, I do want to expand a bit more. Oh, we have a secondary base over here. Uh, this might be their main base, which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. See if we can find some oil. We have one oil node here. Not a lot. Could explore a little bit. Where's my diplomat? So, uh, as you can see, the AI is just... Uh, every unit it creates is immediately sent towards this enemy base. Uh, the reason why it's so much easier... Hey, there's two here. Okay, I'm going to expand over here. Uh, the reason why it's so much easier is because you aren't limited by the uh, maximum amount of units count. There is, of course, still a limit, but with uh, three bases you can have up to uh, 750 units, if I say it correctly. And if you have one base, you can only make 250 units. <coughs> So it's just a massive advantage to fight 3 versus 1. Looks like uh, this army has decided to also go towards uh, the outpost. Or not. <laughs> they are a bit confused about what they want to do apparently. Most factories have been completed. So let's start uh, pumping some tanks ourselves. Some uh, missile launchers as well. The reason why these two don't have missile launchers is because they simply did not unlock the technology for it. So uh, we are already starting to push through. I was hoping for a bit more of a challenge, but uh, you know, if, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Let's start producing uh, some air bases. I'm, I'm a bit shocked why they have so little unit production, apparently. Because uh, these guys do not have full bases. And when you look at the points, uh, Mr. Scribble 3 has uh, more... No, not more points than the three of us together, but uh, he has more points than my two bots to combined. So, yeah, I don't know where his uh, true production is or why it isn't there. So, Blue is apparently... Uh, Moving to the north, I'm not sure what his uh, his plans are, but that's fine. So the reason why I wanted to do this is also just to, to show the AI on my side, and you can just see how how useful it is. It's it doesn't group up units, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, once it has located an enemy base, it just keeps pounding on him, and it can do a lot of damage. I think they have decided to indeed go towards this base. I'm going to see if I can find uh, any more outposts. <coughs> because I kind of just want to build up my base before this battle ends. Why does it say that? Oh, I did not loop them. I 
I really need to stop forgetting to uh, loot my unit. Or to loot my production. Uh, we are also going to bake some bombers. Just for fun. Just because we can. Oh! Um, I was wrong. This is not his main base. But uh, his main base is uh, not protected at all. So this should be fairly easy. Um, I'm going to try and assist over here down south. And uh, this base might actually fall before I even get there. So I'm, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed by how easy this battle is. It took me quite some time to prepare, well, not that long, but it took me some time to prepare it. And uh, I was really hoping for a bit of a challenge. This base is almost completely destroyed now. Uh, yeah, let's just go for this base over here. He only had uh, five factories, but they do not seem to be really producing any units. It could be because uh, I manually uh, set uh, construction orders for these bases. Uh, perhaps they did not, and it's just not producing units. That is possible. He is uh, stocking up <laughs> a lot of materials. Uh, those are the new buildings that were added last build. Uh, I'm not using them. I, uh, I don't really see the need to. If I really wanted to, I could uh, just empty out my my uh, sharp crystal and uh, yeah, there's there's no need for uh, storage for them. So my units have changed a little engagement over here. This base is as good as down. And uh, then we're going to move up towards uh, his other race. Don't know yet what these guys will be doing. Blue has temporarily given up on attacking uh, over here. Hey, what are you guys doing? Go there. They are pushing up a small force again. Five tanks and four buggies. It will... Uh, they will be able to, d to fend it off for now. But without any real production, it probably won't last that long. I'm confused why the AI is not producing anything for them. They did in the past. I have seen battles where the AI was actively uh, producing units for someone who had not set manual orders. Mostly buggies, but uh, you know, units are units. Actually, there was just a buggy over here. So, uh, our combined forces are pushing up to this little base over here. Still, I've not really scouted them. Where did my scout go? Did I lose it? Might have lost my scout. Zoom in and enjoy the battle that ensues. still uh, a bit laggy here and there, especially when uh, the battles become bigger, but uh, it's, it's not too bad. It's short freeze every once in a while. Our combined forces are uh, just cleaning up this little base. It doesn't have too much, too money, uh, too much protection. It shouldn't be too much of a struggle to take it out. Uh, Blue has already decided to uh, engage further into the enemy base and I will try to join him. Uh, something that you might be noticing is that I'm fighting the green faction this time, uh, Nazca. Uh, as of late, Nazca has been growing very, very big. Um, earlier it was mostly Jet Blum, the red faction that was uh, strongest of, the, of them all. But that has completely shifted towards Nazca. Uh, yeah, Nazca is just uh, everywhere right now. Uh, I'll show you the Galactic Overview in a moment and you can just see how big their faction is. Atlas uh, has never really been the best one. Uh, hopefully that will be improved over time. Hopefully we'll get some more players on our side. But uh, as of right now, we are kind of the weakest one. 
So that is a shame. Start uh, using our bombers. These bombers will die quite fast against these uh, enemy turrets. Especially because he also has three anti-air uh, units. But we should be fine. Not sure where blue is going. But oh, there's my... Uh, <laughs> I found my diplomat. Bit too late, but still. It's always good to know where your units are. Now, in battles like this, it becomes a bit laggy, which is a shame, but uh, it's still early access, so I assume that it will improve over time. It's uh, only just been released into early access, so they have much uh, plenty of time to fix issues like that. And here you can just see how awesome it is to have 3 versus 3. You just see units moving everywhere. Uh, some of them are mine, but mostly uh, AI units. And it's just uh, its just really cool to play uh, with other players, even if it's AI. Uh, like I said, I was hoping for a bit more, uh, bit more combat from the enemy. But uh, you just didn't really have a good base set up. So... Uh, Unfortunately, this was everything there was to get from this battle. Uh, I'm going to uh, pick up my squad here, and I'm going to take a look, quick look at the campaign map, at the Galactic Overview. So we are leaving the territory, we have just captured this area. Of course, there are still uh, two blue players, my uh, two AI uh, accounts. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. We have some blue here, but it's really scattered. Uh, most of them are actually my units still. There's uh, some other units as well. Uh, there's a nice uh, bunch of red over here. But when you come to this side, you just see it's all green. And up here as well. So you can see how green it is. On the right side, you also notice that uh, Nazca is dominating the planet. Uh, I had actually just noticed while I'm saying all of this that uh, the campaign ends in zero days, zero hours, zero minutes and zero seconds. So it should have ended. I don't know what the exact idea behind it is. If a new campaign should start or that it's just something that they are experimenting with. I don't know. Um, but I, I suppose we'll, uh, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, so I'm going to end the video now. I hope you have enjoyed this little battle. Uh, I hope that the next battle will show some uh, a bit more s a struggle. This was a bit easier than I was hoping for. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.